Adam Savage just posted a video covering the first ever official live action clone trooper armor in great detail. He brought on costume and cosmetic designer Alia Holland as she showcased her work, the processes she took to create the armor, and the major differences between the CGI and live action versions, all of which was used in Obi Wan Kenobi and Andor. Whilst her work is absolutely incredible, it begs the question why isn't Star Wars covering something like this instead of Adam Savage? There's no doubt Adam is the perfect person for this type of content since he worked at ILM building miniatures for The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. And it's clear fans want more of this. The Star Wars website has covered this recently though through their web series. We got a glance at a selection of props used in Andor and judging by the comments, people loved it. And oh, look, somebody mentioning bringing Adam Savage on to talk more about Star Wars props. The problem is though, this was slotted in the middle of their relatively low viewed This Week in Star Wars series, when they could do a much better job through a standalone show. YouTubers don't have the inside info like Disney does, and it could prove to be successful for Star Wars. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and if you want more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.